Hello everybody, Time to Grind here with another Overwatch discussion. Now, there have been a lot of questions about the Overwatch beta, and when I say a lot, I mean a lot. So today I did a little research over past Blizzard games and stuff like that to come up with a few things you can expect from the Overwatch beta. Now, the first thing anyone wants to know is, how am I gonna get in the beta? Well, with Blizzard's last game, Here's the Storm, you could buy a Founders Pack that included beta access and a few exclusive cosmetics for some of their heroes. Now let's just say Blizzard made a lot of money that way, so we can pretty much without a doubt say there'll be some type of Founders Pack in Overwatch. Now, there was also a lot of controversy with Heroes of the Storm beta in the first place, because as you know, Blizzard was trying to sell the beta keys in the Founders Pack, while also giving them out for free if you signed up for the beta and waited. You know, you'd get like five codes or whatever, and you can give four to friends or something. Now, the problem with that was that many people were just creating multiple accounts and selling the beta keys they got on sites like eBay, which was losing Blizzard a decent amount of money. Now, what will most likely happen is when the beta comes out, keys will be given out to famous streamers, YouTubers, news websites, and contest winners. But after that, the general public will probably just gain access to the game in several waves, avoiding the sale of the beta keys in the first place. Also, we know for a fact that there will be some type of beta key because in a little contest Blizzard is doing, they're giving out several vouchers for Overwatch beta access, or whatever they're calling it. Also, beta keys or in-game skins or cosmetics will most likely not be given out in the BlizzCon virtual ticket or the goodie bag as the Overwatch logo does not appear anywhere advertising the virtual ticket. And if they gave out the keys to everyone, people would just sell the codes, which as we said already, they're trying to avoid. Also, the beta will most likely be released after or during BlizzCon 2015 as it would fit perfectly with the generic fall date we've been given and it would be pretty cool for them to be like, thanks for watching this Overwatch panel, now go home and play some Overwatch. Also, there's a pretty high chance there will be some beta exclusive cosmetics if there are cosmetics in the game, which there most likely will be. And here's the storm, Nezebra could only be obtained if you purchased the Nexus Bundle and Wonder Billy and the Wonder Billy Portrait if you made any purchases with real life money. Now in Hearthstone Beta, you could get a golden version of Geblin Mechatork if you spent real money in the beta, which is currently and will always be uncraftable. You can still craft the normal version if you want, which I don't recommend, but you can if you want. It's only the golden one that's locked. And that is pretty much what you can expect from the Overwatch beta, just solely based on how Blizzard has generally acted in the past. If you enjoyed this video, then consider leaving a like down below and subscribing to see more Overwatch content and news. See you guys next time. Also, if you want to learn the lore and backstory around Widowmaker, go ahead and click the annotation on the screen. You might learn a thing or two. Bye.